If we were to look at the sins that man commits, there are many. Some are major, some are minor. When minor sins are committed, the Prophet ﷺ tells us that when you do a deed that is a good deed after the minor sin, automatically the minor sin is wiped out even though there may not have been specific seeking of forgiveness for the minor sin. But when it comes to a major sin, then specific seeking of forgiveness is required. Unfortunately, we have the devil. He makes us commit the sin at the beginning. Then when we've turned to Allah, he makes us doubt the mercy of Allah on the other hand. So we need to strike a balance and we need to realize, yes, we will tackle the devil from the beginning and we will make sure that once we've come back to the right page in our relationship with Allah, we won't allow him to make us falter by thinking that we have not been forgiven. So there is a crisis in the mind. There is a crisis in the situation sometimes. Allah comforts us in Surah Ala Imran by telling us who are the people who will earn paradise. In this episode, we want to actually highlight the comfort that Allah gives those who have a crisis within them of whether or not Allah has forgiven them because they've committed adultery, they've fornicated, they've committed major sin, they've committed immorality, they've wronged themselves. Allah says, if you seek the forgiveness of Allah and you've changed your ways and habits, then paradise was actually created for people like you. SubhanAllah. Did you hear that? Allah says, you may have committed adultery, you may have committed fornication, you may have so many other sins, intoxicants, drugs, gambling, whatever else, the list is endless of these major sins. And you know what Allah says? It's not the end. If you sought forgiveness and changed your ways, those are the two conditions you need. Seek forgiveness and change your ways. Then we want you to know that paradise was actually created for people like you. La ilaha illallah. Brings me to tears. Just to think of this, my brothers and sisters, listen to this beautiful verse 135 of Surah Ala Imran. وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاحِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهَ فَاسْتَغْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَمَنْ يَغْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ Those who have engaged in immorality, talking of adultery, fornication, immorality, whatever, nudity, pornography, whatever else it may have been, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, those who have engaged in immorality, or they have wronged themselves by major sin in one way or another, if they remember Allah and seek forgiveness of their sins or from their sins, and they know who is there to forgive the sins besides Allah, and they do not continue in their bad ways after knowing and after having sought the forgiveness, their lives changed. So two things happen. After the sin, forgiveness was sought and they didn't go back to those bad ways. Their lives changed. You are not going to be judged by your past, not in the eyes of Allah. Your past is exactly that. It's your past. Forget about it. Put it behind your back. You might even want to laugh about it sometimes because Umar ibn Khattab anhu, at times used to laugh about how they worshipped pieces of food that were carved or made into an idol. And they laughed at that later on. But they had sought forgiveness and their lives were changed. So it was okay to laugh at it, to say, we were so silly, weren't we? Look how Allah's blessed us and guided us. So my brothers and sisters, don't let your past haunt you because you'll never achieve comfort. It's a bigger crisis to let your past haunt you than the sins that you had actually committed, which were also a crisis at the time. But now that you've changed, forget about the past. It's gone. It's history. The beauty of Islam, you don't need to ever confess those sins to anyone, nobody. When you sought forgiveness from Allah, it was wiped out. Even the angels were made to forget it. So don't ever talk about it. The one who sought forgiveness from a sin is equivalent to he or she who never ever committed that sin. Look at the mercy of Allah there. Allah says, you know what? Those people, their recompense will be the following. So which people? 
the people who did so much evil, but when they remembered Allah, they sought the forgiveness of Allah and they changed their ways. Those are the people. For them is مَغْفِرَةٌ مِّن رَبِّهِمْ True forgiveness from Allah. وَجَنَّاتٌ تَجْرِي مِن تَحْتِهَا الْأَنْهَارُ خَامِدِينَ فِيهَا and paradise beneath which there will be rivers flowing, they shall dwell therein forever and ever. And what a beautiful recompense for those who did good. You did good after you did bad. Allah says, we're not going to talk about your bad. It's all about the good. La ilaha illallah. Mercy of Allah. So my brothers and sisters, this is what Allah speaks about when he talks about the forgiveness those who have committed sin, he actually specifically mentions the major sins in this verse of Surah Al-Ahmad.